We're here for another segment, another installment of the first segment of the Summer Stay Sharp series. We're talking about defense after what was a spectacular year of defense in 2011 for USF. And this time through, we're joined by assistant coach and recruiting coordinator Troy Nakamura. And uh, Knox, you know, just to kind of start, simply put, obviously the defense this year was, was great. And you worked specifically with the outfielders, but just kind of tell us about what you saw every day on the field from that outfield group, but just from the team as a whole defensively? On a day-to-day -day basis in the springtime, we'll start with the outfielders specifically. Uh, it really starts in, in their preparation of the day, making sure that they're, they, they've, they're stretched out, they've gone through their defensive lead-ups, and then during batting practice, because there's not that much opportunity to practice in the springtime, that's where they're not only getting themselves game ready, they're also getting themselves they're just getting more quality repetitions so that they can maintain their, their tracking ability and staying below the baseball, staying behind the baseball. So that's something that they took a lot of pride in is making plays in batting practice. Not shagging, not just going to the ball and picking it up, but making plays and just getting that, getting a large enough sample size and then maintaining their, uh, you know, their defensive um, strengths in the spring. And you talk about not having a lot of time in the spring to do that. What is it then that allows them to make those plays? What do you guys do in the fall to prepare for that ability to make plays? Each position has their own routine, has their own lead-ups, has their own way of preparing, and it comes down to the amount of discipline and attention to detail put into the preparation starting from the very first day that they get on campus in the fall. And you can expand that to include um, their attention to detail and the effort that they put in in the weight room um, to get as explosive as they can be, to get, be as flexible as they can be, and then from a, a spark standpoint, agility, you know, lateral movement. And so that's the physical part of it. And then the defensive part of it is just going through the, the monotonous repetition every single day of just doing the lead-ups that you need to do, you know. And, and that's the part that at times can be like I said, a little monotonous for them, but they understand and they believe that by setting a firm foundation and then from time to time returning to that foundation will eventually allow them to make the plays that they're capable of making in the springtime. And this team showed that very well in, in respect of they were able to make the routine plays because of their ability to have quality reads off the bat, to have a great first step. Um, to be flexible enough to get below the baseball if you're an infielder. You know, if you're a catcher, being explosive enough to be able to anticipate and get to a, you know, a one-two slider that's buried by keeping a runner from moving up 90 feet. I mean, they, their attention to detail was superior, and that showed up on the field. And you're going to make the great plays sometimes, but you have to make the routine plays all the time. And that's what this team did. There, there were very, there was very few times where you saw a ball leave the bat and you weren't able to just kind of go back to your chart and start preparing for the next hitter because you knew it was going to be caught cleanly and you knew it was going to be played catch accurately. Last question for you. Obviously moving next year, moving to next year, you guys work to defend that West Coast Conference title. And you being the recruiting coordinator, what kind of things do you try to instill in that freshman class coming in and those transfer students coming in and even the guys returning, coming back for another year? What kind of culture or mentality do you try to instill for the group coming in next year knowing, hey, this is what we did to win a championship. This is what we need to do to try to do it again. There's, there's no doubt the defense played a huge part you know, in the, in the conference championship and having the kind of success that we had. Um, I think the message is slightly different for both groups. With the incoming class, we're really stressing the preparation that their, their physical preparation leading up to their arrival in August. We've, been, we've given them a 56-day challenge, 56 workouts over a two-month period in which uh, if they follow that program to a T, they're going to show up and they're going to have the right amount of fitness, conditioning, strength, uh, explosiveness, and they'll, they'll be able to hit the ground running from a defensive, athletic, and offensive standpoint. And obviously from the pitchers as well, they'll benefit from it. From the returning guys, they're out there playing this summertime. They're... Their summer is an extended spring for them. So they still have their defensive lead-ups. They still have their repetitions during batting practice. And it, the more 
game repetitions that they get, the more angles that they have to go to the ball, the different reads that they have, the different adjustments that they make, they're refining their tools and their skills. The incoming class, I think they look at it and they see, hey, that's a, that's a great fielding percentage, but I don't think they really have a complete perspective yet on exactly what it takes. And that's, that's our task this summertime is to illustrate that to them and say, hey, this is what it's going to take. It's, it's going to take not so much the fact that you're able to pick it up and throw it across in the spring, but if you're able to do all the work from today in the summertime to the game to game one in February, will make the difference from you being able to make the routine plays in the springtime that, that this team was able to make.